holder of nature. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get to. When you reach the front desk, cover your ears and ask the worker to see the one who calls himself the holder of nature. If you didn't cover your ears, pray to any and every god you know for relief of what comes next. The worker will stand and begin yelling in an unknown language, in a voice more filled with evil than Satan or any of the demons in his legion. To hear this voice clearly would corrupt your mind instantly, leaving you to suffer a pain far greater than the fires of hell for the rest of your life. Even with your ears covered, your head will feel as if it were in flames whilst the worker speaks his evil tongues. When he is finished, wait ten seconds before uncovering your ears, for evil still lingers in the air. After ten seconds, uncover your ears and put your hand to your forehead, saying, In the beginning. As you finish saying this, the worker will open his mouth and a portal will appear. Should you step through this portal fearfully, he will close it when you are only halfway through, trapping your soul in the dark abyss that connects the dimensions for all eternity. If you make it through safely, though, you will find yourself in a garden. A garden more beautiful and lush than any forest or jungle known to man, demon, and angel. The garden seems to stretch on into infinity, and in front of you, you will see a path. Follow it, but do not stray, for if you do, the beasts of the garden will attack and begin to slowly tear the layers of your body off over what seems to be an eternity and you'll be conscious for all of it. After what may seem anywhere from five minutes to five months of walking, you will come upon a quaint home. Knock on the front door, and if you should hear a voice saying, You are not welcome here, stranger, there is no hope for you. No praying will save you here. Your death will be horrible. If you hear a voice saying, Please, come in, you may open the door and go in. He has welcomed you. Inside, you will see an old man in a rocking chair, reading by the fire. He will only respond to one question. What started it all? The man will begin to change his shape right in front of you. The wrinkles on his face and arms will begin to fade, and his muscles will begin to take shape, as if he were getting much younger. He will stand and ask you to come to him. Don't. As much as he may tempt you to, do not. Stare directly into his eyes, and without breaking eye contact, inquire once more, What started it all? Once you say this again, the fire will jump from the fireplace and surround the man. He will begin to speak, in a voice as loud as the roaring sea, yet as soft as a gentle breeze. He will explain the beginning of life, the objects, and all of the universe. When he is finished, the fire will reside, and the man will be gone. In his place will be a marble on the floor. This marble is as red as fire, yet as blue as the sea, as clear as the wind, but as black as the earth. Do not try to comprehend this marble, for it will twist your mind into madness. Pick up the marble and leave through the door you came through, and you will be back in the main lobby of the institution. The marble is object 64, 
of 538. You control the elements now.